Police right now investigating an early morning shooting in Northeast Portland. It happened right near Northeast 102nd on the north side of Burnside just about 1 o'clock this morning. That's where we find Coin Local 6 reporter Brent Weisberg. And Brent, are crews still on scene at this hour? Chad, good morning. Still a very busy scene here. Let me step out of the way and we can show you this scene here with Portland police still here. They have been here since one o'clock this morning. In the background, you can see this large vehicle. That's the Portland Police Bureau's mobile command center. We've been seeing officers processing evidence inside that vehicle all morning long. We've also seen them kind of going around the parking lot, taking pictures, looking at the ground. Also notice some evidence markers on the ground too. We do know from one officer on scene here that he said there were multiple shell casings found here. Now that we have a little bit more daylight, you can see it's a very expansive crime scene here. Officers have the southbound lane of Northeast 102nd closed because of this investigation. Take a look at some video from the scene from earlier this morning. Emergency dispatchers tell us that one person was taken to the hospital with a gunshot wound. A sergeant here on scene tells me that that person's injuries are described as, quote, very serious. Serious. We do know that the gang enforcement team is out here. They are the lead investigators. Homicide detectives have been called out here, the sergeant says, just to kind of assist with the investigation because they believe this person's injuries are very serious. Neighbors described hearing a lot of commotion early this morning. And again, Portland police have been out here since very early this morning. One o'clock is when this shooting was reported. Portland police are asking for your help. If you know anything about this case, you are urged to call them. Reporting for you live in Northeast Portland, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin Local 6. Thank you very much for the live report, Brent.